Chris, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 15th of November to the 15th of December. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Taurus, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Taurus, your challenge here is the Page of Cups and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the star in reverse, okay? So I already know what your reading is all about. It's so clear to me. I love that. I love when readings are so clear that I don't have to go digging and, and, and like fetching and like running to find information. So that's good. Thank you. Okay. So your challenge here has a lot to do with an offer of love that's coming in, or this could be an apology or, you know, needing to forgive or heal. You know, usually the page of cups is a forgive forgiveness card. Usually when I see it, I'm like, okay, forgiveness, or, oh, maybe there's an offer of love, but usually it's a card of forgiveness. Okay. We're going to clarify your challenge. We're going to see why the page of cups is your challenge in a moment. Now in the recent past, you have the ace of wands, the knight of swords and the fool. So it looks like in the recent past, you were really quick to disconnect from someone. And I feel the reason why you were quick to disconnect with this person was because there was some sort of situation that you weren't happy with. Okay. And, it, and what it looks like here for you, Taurus is in the past, you knew it was time for you to have a new beginning. It's like, okay, yes, I need to have a new beginning. I need to take this risk to have a new beginning because it, it, there's just something here of you wanting to take action with the Knight of Swords. We're going to find out more when we clarify. In the present moment, you have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Here's the thing. In the present moment, you trust nobody. Nobody. You're like, I don't trust him. I don't trust her. I don't trust this person. But in the present moment, you know you need to move forward. You know that. And you know your life is changing. I feel in the present moment, you have two choices or two directions that you can take. And you're very abundant here. You're the queen of pentacles. So you could be very abundant. You could be interested in making an offer to someone, or maybe you are planning a project here. There's something here about you having the power within you to, to create what it is that you want. But this complex of, I don't trust people or, you know, people are genuinely not good people, whatever the case may be. There's still this energy here of, of I'm upset that something here in the past didn't work out, or I'm upset in the, you know, about the past because somebody here tried to take advantage of me, whatever the case is, it's still there. Okay. That trust issue is still there. And we're going to talk about that and see why that's there and what may be happening in terms of the direction or the path that you're choosing to take in your life. Now in the near future, you have the six of cups, the four of cups, and you have the ace of cups. So in the near future, one of the things that I see here, which is really atypical, it's like a, how do I say this? It's like a typical energy here. Okay. And what do I mean by typical energy? Well, I mean that somebody here from the past is coming back or something from the past that you experienced in the future is coming back. And it could be this person from the past saying, Hey, let's apologize to one another. Let's try to make things work. Let's, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean you and this person are going to get back together. For some of you, this person from the past may try, but I feel more or less, this is about forgiveness because a lot of you are going to be moving on to something new, like new love, a new beginning, something that you are really emotionally passionate about, maybe starting for you. So I think the key here that you need to remember is if you're not healed, the star in reverse in terms of what you don't see coming, if you're not completely healed and you don't completely put something behind you. And a lot of you are going to watch this and say, no, Monica, I've put it behind me already. Sure. You've put it behind you, but have you put behind you the pain, the hurt, the trauma? Cause if you haven't done that, that's a form of blocked energy. That's a form of, Oh, I don't want opportunities. Oh, I'm not interested. That's, and a lot of us don't realize that we're doing that because we don't see ourselves. It's other people that see us. It's other people that see us. We don't walk around looking at ourselves, right? We don't see ourselves. We're just, it's like we're in a video game. So one of the things that you need to keep in mind is you need to make sure that you're healed. 
you need to make sure you're pouring that energy into yourself to heal yourself and, and release something here. And it may involve you talking to somebody that you haven't spoken to for quite some time. A lot of you have already made a decision not to talk to this person ever again. And that's fine. I'm not saying you have to, you know, hold hands with this person and be best friends, but you need to make sure that you're releasing them correctly. Cause if you're holding on to this grudge, this anger, this pain, and you're not releasing it, it will affect your ability to take advantage of opportunities. And with the sun moving into Sagittarius at the end of November, this is all about opportunities. Jupiter is the ruling uh, luminary of Sagittarius. So Jupiter is going to be playing a huge role uh, from now until mid-December for you, okay? And for all of us, actually. So let's get into your reading and uh, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, so let's clarify your challenge. So the page of cups is clarified by the 10 of swords. You have the king of swords and the two of wands. So your biggest challenge here from now until mid December is a decision that you need to make about your life, the direction of your life, the path you're choosing to take. Are you choosing to change things? How are you changing things? How do you want things to be? And your biggest challenge here is going to have a lot to do with you choosing how you're going to approach this change that is happening. And I think the biggest uh, message here for you is when it comes to a situation that really affected you and really got you to this place of rock bottom, are you being logical about this situation or are you being overly emotional about it? Because that's your challenge, right? Your challenge is to be logical instead of allowing your emotions to override your feelings. And this is going to help you make the right decision because the two of wands is about our life, right? If we're overly emotional about something and we're not thinking logical, we tend to make the wrong decision. Okay. And this is what spirit is saying to you. They're saying, they're saying, look, your challenge is forgiveness. Your challenge is to be open to love, to be open to that. You can't just say, look, this person hurt me. They took advantage of me. They caused me pain. I'm not opening myself ever again because then you miss opportunities and then your life, the way it's supposed to be, doesn't end up being that way because you're blocked and closed off. And I did talk to Libra about this as well. And both you and Libra share the same um, ruling planet, ruling energy, which is Venus. And I believe in the astrology community, as I've been watching, you know, TikTok and YouTube and all of that. There's been a lot of energy with Mars and Venus and like crazy aspects happening. So these are things that you need to be aware of so that when you're deciding and making a decision in terms of the direction of your life, you're choosing and making the right decision based on logic and not based on, oh, you know, um, you know, emotion, being overly emotional about something, which again, emotions are great, but they're great for certain situations not for not for life changing events or directions because we need to be very logical sometimes our emotions can be up and down and then we make the wrong decision and we're like wow why did i make that decision when i was mad why did i make that decision when i was hungry why did i right so you got to be this is something that is going to be a big part of your challenge okay so let's get into your reading now now let's talk about the recent past let's clarify the let's clarify the knight of swords Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Justice, Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah. So in the recent past, you cut someone off. Okay. You cut someone off. You disconnected from them. Even though you were going to make an offer to this person in the past, I don't feel like that happened. For some of you, you tried maybe to work things out with this person and have a new beginning. Tell me more about the Fool. Six of Wands, the Cherry, and the Page of Cups. Yeah. So you chose to move forward in the past. And I feel like you chose to move forward in, um, on your own here in the past. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Judgment, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Swords. 
you really wanted some sort of truth and clarity in terms of the direction that you were taking here in the past, maybe with a specific person, because there was so much uncertainty, the high priestess here, there was a lack of maybe communication or being clear on this new beginning. That could be the reason why you chose to move forward on your own. Okay. Because for you, Taurus, I feel in the past, you had some sort of expectation. It's like, okay, if we're going to move forward together, we need to do this. We need to do that. We need to do this. And if this person wasn't really engaged in, you know, your perspective or what you wanted to do, a lot of you may have said, you know what, I'm just going to do it myself. I'm going to do it on my own. And if I do it on my own, I can do it how I want, when I want, where I want. And I don't have to worry about trying to gain clarity from this person in the past. Okay. Now in the present moment, there's trust issues for sure. Seven of swords. Somebody here took advantage of you. Somebody here maybe lied, cheated, stole from you. And now you're kind of at this crossroads in your life. It's like, okay, now what do I do? Now, what direction am I going to, going to go into? So tell me more about the seven of swords. What happened here? What's still affecting Taurus in the present moment that they need to be aware of? The seven of swords is clarified by the five of cups, the knight of cups, and the three of swords. You're still hurt, period, point blank, period, okay? You can come on the channel and say, oh, I'm not hurt anymore. I'm over that. No, you're not. No, you're not. Seven of swords, five of cups, three of swords. Sorry, you're not. So you're still holding on to some sort of pain. Uh, there is love coming in, okay? Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be a Gemini, could also be an Aquarius here. They are coming in, but they know that you're still hurt. They know that you have trust issues. And this person knows that even though they're kind of dating you or kind of seeing you, they're not going to come towards you and give you as much as you want until you work on this. This is something you need to work on. So what's the important message for you with the queen of pentacles? What do you need to work on? How do you, how do you work on this? How do you release this? What is the process for you? What do you need to know? Cause this is a big thing. This is a big issue. Okay. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Okay. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Why is it here? What is, she, what is, I was going to say, what does she need to know? What does she or he need to know? I'm only saying that because most of you are women that watch my channel. Okay. So you have the star in reverse, obviously. There you go. There's that confirmation. I just read the cards here. Page of wands in reverse. You're not going to have a new beginning. It's not going to be successful until you do the inner work. I'm going to say this to you and you don't have to take my advice from the peanut gallery. Okay. My two cents advice, you know, you can, you can take it. You don't have to, you really need to focus on healing. Okay. Doing baths, um, releasing, doing maybe candle work, um, doing a burning bowl. I think I mentioned this to you or someone else doing a burning bowl, cutting ties, cutting cords. All of this stuff is going to be super paramount because one of the things I'm going to tell you, and you, you're not going to like what I'm going to say to you, but I'm saying this to warn you. Okay. I'm all about warning and preparing you for what's coming. Somebody is going to come into your life, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and they're going to play games. Okay. And they're going to play games because they know that you're not completely healed. They know. And here's the thing. It sounds silly, right? When I say it, but energy is real. Energy is real. I don't have to say anything to you. All you have to do is look at my energy and you know exactly what's going on with me subconsciously. Okay. So this is something that is really going to be super important because I don't want to see you attract the same type of energy that you had in the past because you're still holding on to the past energy. Okay. So tell me more about the two of wands for Taurus in the present moment. Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Nine of Swords. You got to stop worrying about your happiness and your future. Okay, stop worrying about it because the more you worry about it, the more you tell the universe, I don't have control. Worry and fear is just, I don't have control. I don't know how to take action. I don't know what to do. And in reality, you do know what to do. What you need to do is you need to start healing, forgiving, releasing, accepting. Easier said than done. Okay. But when you start doing this, light is going to come into your life. Then you're going to see things from a different perspective. Then you're going to realize there is no point in worrying because the only thing that you can do to really get over fear and worry is to take action. And that's part of you healing. Okay. Understand, understand, and understand that you sitting there and reminiscing about the past and crying about it and being upset about it is not going to change. It's not going to change anything. All it's going to do is delay you from having this new beginning. Okay. 
Very important message. It, I know it sounds like an atypical reading, but that's the message, okay? In the near future, love is coming in. You're rejecting it. Um, but I feel like this love is um, somebody who's coming in from the past. Tell me more about the Six of Cups in the... Sorry. Tell me more about the Six of Cups in the near future for Taurus. You have the Hangman, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Somebody here in the near future from the past is trying to look... They're trying to come towards you, Taurus, to help you see things from a different perspective. So whoever this person is, I feel like you're slow to move towards them, this person from the past. But I feel eventually this person from your past who's coming back, I don't feel... For some of you, you might get back with someone from the past, but I don't feel that. I feel like this person from the past ends up coming towards you to say, hey, look... I looked, I'm, I'm thinking about things from a different perspective, hangman. They're looking at things from a different perspective and they're trying to be logical about the situation, especially if you have children, because the six of um, cups usually talks about children. As we can see with the six of cups, there's little children there. So this could be about children and needing to maybe look at things from a different perspective, especially if this is with a partner from your past. And even if there's no children involved, there's memories that are involved that you're still holding on to that are affecting you in the present moment from healing. So this person's coming towards you to make an offer, but it looks like you're rejecting it. So if this person from the past is trying to get back with you, you're like, nope, not interested. Four of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Seven of Cups. So the reason why you don't take this person's offer up, this either new love or past love, whatever, you don't take this person's offer, it's because you're still working on yourself, Nine of Pentacles. Love is there. Love is going to show up for you, but the more you do the inner work, the more it's going to be there. But also, I feel like there's still some sort of confusion here. And that's why somebody is not open to love right away. It doesn't mean you're not going to be. I just feel like it's going to take time for you. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. You have the Eight of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you see, your new love is there. Like I said, it's there, Ace of Cups. It's showing up. Somebody wants you, but you're still doing the inner work, okay? Empress and the Nine of Cups. This is you. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to chill. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to nurture myself. You're still in this place of isolating yourself because you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not healed. You're still doing that work. That's okay. That's fine. It's a process. So you need to be patient with yourself. But this new beginning is coming in. It's just going to take time. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. So you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. In order for you to be happy again, in order for you to really get to this place of really feeling fulfilled, okay? I'm just going to put a few stories out there. If you want to reconcile with someone, some of you are like, yeah, are we going to reconcile? You can if you want to, but you need to get clear on why you want this. Why do you want to reconcile? What's the point of reconciling? Are you open to maybe working things out with this person? Are they open to working things out with you? It can happen, but you need to get clear on something, okay? That's the first piece of advice. The second piece of advice here is if you truly want to be in a place of happiness again, because for me, the Three of Cups is not only a card of reconciliation, it's also a card of happiness, celebrating, um, coming together with people. If you want this, if you want this type of energy, you need to work on something here. And what you're working on is to get clear on something. Okay. It can be getting clear on the type of people you want to attract, the type of experiences that you want to have, the type of, you know, um, things that you want to have, whatever it is, this is about you getting a hundred percent clear. Once you do this and you do the work, inner work, it's going to lead to a lot of happiness for you. You're going to be happy again, Taurus. But work and clarity needs to come first in order for this to happen, okay? So this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.